Hi, my name is Patrick. This video is basically to tell you how to prepare for CONT if you're preparing for CAT 23 starting from September 23. Is it late? Maybe. Can you crack? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I have known people who have cracked even starting from September. You will have to dedicatedly prepare properly, do not give up hope till the end, not waste your time and ensure that you give your best shot. That's what is required for CAT. Anyway, let's. This is a part of the four video series. First, for the broad plan, this is plan for con. Then we will have plan for DLR and then for verbal. So broadly, I'm looking at the two stage of preparation. First, 45 days will be where you write mock and syllabus. So five days of mocks, 40 days you try to complete your syllabus. I mean, you can't afford to spend more than that right now. So that's all. And rest 40 days, mocks revision and improvement. So you can write one mock a week. Right. So one mock a week just to know how the paper pattern is. Are you going in the right direction? Are you preparing properly and so on? So you can add one mock a week and depending time you can spend on syllabus completion. So basically, you will, if you start from September beginning, you will try to complete it by October 23rd. Like I said, 40 days of preparation and five days of mocks. Tentative time to spend is 2.5 to 3 hours a day for con preparation. And this is we are focusing on con. I have given a tentative time for each. Now understand this. It is possible you will say that, oh, I find geometry really difficult. I will not do geometry. I'm okay with that. Perfectly all right. Or if you feel few topics like PNC probability, you're not good at it, you want to leave it. Perfectly all right. Don't leave arithmetic. Arithmetic has a higher weightage of it. So all these, I mean, the topics which are there initial, I mean, try to go about doing it. Time and work, time to distance, ratio, interest. I mean, do those topics. I won't avoid those. I given you tentative days, so try to in those days try to complete as many questions as possible. Okay. If by chance you extend the days, avoid it. Maximum you can extend the days if you're not trying to do some of the topics, then you can do that. For example, you say I'm not going to do geometry. So you will save on these 10 days. You can allocate these 10 days maybe for some other topics which you feel you're comfortable. Same way you say I'll not do PNC probability. Then allocate this five days to other topics. That is perfectly all right. But avoid extending by too much on that aspect. So don't go too deep into topics as much as possible. Do in those two days, take a few, some practice, get your fundamentals right. That is what is more important and do your best. That's, that's what I would require. So these are the tentative syllabus. Since there's less time, you can pick and choose saying that I will do only out of this 21, I will do only 15 of these topics. That's perfectly all right. Okay. But don't give up on arithmetic because arithmetic has a slightly higher weightage. You can leave out from the others, whatever topics you feel you're not comfortable how to prepare. Try solving a few sums, I mean, before going to theory. The idea is so that you can think through the sum and understand the topic better. Then go to the theory, solve a few basic sums. I think that should suffice. I mean, don't go too deep into a topic. Try to understand the topic that's more important so that there are any easy sums on the topic you should be able to solve. Also spend 10 to 15 minutes on calculation every day. Doing calculations helps to improve your speed with regards to solving mathematics. Simple calculation, two digit calculation. We do have a calculation sheet that we normally share. You can use that or you can use any app for calculation, but simple two digit calculations. I hope this will help you with regards to con preparation. We'll have videos for DILR and the verbal preparation so that you can plan and prepare accordingly. Thank you.